Now, which type of irrigation is that? Which type of irrigation is that? Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands, Christine. Be allowed. It is? Drip irrigation. We have done the drip irrigation using? Very good. Pipes. Yes? Pipes. Be allowed. Pipes. Yes, using the pipes. Why do we use drip irrigation? Why do we use drip irrigation? Because drip irrigation does what? Conserves? Conserves? Water. Very good. Drip irrigation conserves? Water. Drip irrigation conserves? Water. Very good. That is drip irrigation and it conserves water. That is drip irrigation which conserves water. When should we use it? During the dry season or during the wet season? Which is the appropriate time to use it? Dry season or wet season? It should be used during the dry season. Season. Is that one go is that one right? Yes. Is that one right? Yes. Yes. So that is how we do drip irrigation using the perforated pipes. You can see the source of water. We have raised it up. Can you close the tap and see whether the water will continue uh, coming out? Close the tap. Is the water coming out now? No. No. So that is how you use the drip irrigation. Once the plants have taken enough water, you are supposed to close the tap and wait for the next time. Once you want to start uh, uh, watering the crops, you open the what? The tap. So the function of the tap is to regulate the water flow in the system. Are you understanding? Yes. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes, very good. What's the function of the tap? To control the water, water flow in the system. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes. That is very good. Can you clap for yourselves for doing a very good job? Clap for yourselves. Clap for yourselves. Clap for yourselves. Clap for yourselves. And that makes the end of our lesson today. Now from here you'll go back to class and make some short notes on how to make drip irrigation using perforated pipes and mention the importance of it. Thank you.